All right, ladies and genitals, Yoda Slay here bringing you a custom Nazi zombie tutorial. I have been asked numerous times, how do I use a controller when I play PC? I know all you PC players out there may, you know, start hating on me because I use a controller, but hey, I'm not claiming to be a PC player. I'm just trying to bring these custom Nazi zombies to my fans, and with that, I play with a controller. If you don't like it, uh, sorry about you. But basically, what you guys want to do is you see this little program on my uh, desktop here. It's called XPatter. There will be a link in the description to this little thing so you can download that and install that. Uh, one thing I'm going to point out, uh, the same guides, rules, and everything. Go for a PS3 controller, a generic controller, an Xbox 360 controller, uh, or whatnot. It's just simple. The same basics are for every controller. Uh, it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, I use a wired controller. To use a wireless controller, you do have to have a wired uh, network adapter deal to plug into a USB port on your computer so that the wireless uh, controller can connect. Uh, that's a little bit complicated, so I just bought the uh, wired controller to make things a little bit easier. But once you get XPatter downloaded, go ahead and click on that. It will bring you to a different screen, what you just seen there. Um, it will bring you to this screen, this pink, purplish screen. Um, down at the bottom, you see these little tabs. It'll start out on the start thingy. You'll go over, you'll see image. I'm not really sure what that was. Then you will see the uh, sticks tab. That is just meaning your thumb sticks. You know, stick one, stick two. Stick one meaning the left, stick two meaning the right. Uh, you go to stick one and hit enabled and follow the on-screen directions. It will say push left stick, uh, push stick one left, up. Simple as that. There we got left stick, and you can see I'm moving around, and you see the little green squares. So we got stick one enabled. Go over to the stick two tab, enable that zombie, and then follow the on-screen directions. Left, up. There we go. We got stick two enabled. Uh, so now we got both thumbsticks. Time to head over to the D-pad, and you got to enable that as well, and follow the on-screen directions. Up, down, left, right. B A B A. Select star. Anybody remember that? It wasn't the right one, but it was close enough. Uh, we got the D-pad. It's enabled. That's all you got to do for that. Pretty simple, huh? Here's where it starts getting a little confusing, and I'm going to lose people. I'm sure. Um, go over to the buttons tab. Right here, you don't have to enable anything. You simply just go through every button on your controller and push it, and uh, you will see a little square just like that right there. Um, once a square is on the screen, all you got to do is simply hold down the button uh, that corresponds for that square. I like to use... Um, the layout of my buttons as similar to what is on my controller um, right here I actually pushed RB right bumper on Xbox 360 controller that is my grenades button uh, so I move it up to the top right hand corner you don't have to worry about your triggers right now um, there's actually a triggers tab for that but simply just go through all your uh, buttons real quick that's LB uh, left bumper for special grenades Y and don't mind me, I'm going to call them out like a retard. B, A, X, start. And you can see how I kind of got like a layout of a controller going. Back or select. And then one thing a lot of people forget is sprint, which is pushing down on the thumbsticks itself. And then knife. If you're playing with like a conventional like default layout, not tactical. Um, but once you do that, there's all your buttons. You just go through and push all the buttons, you know. And you can check to see which ones you pushed because they will turn um, green when you push the button, you know, like you see on the screen there. You just go through and do all that stuff. But once you get all the buttons pushed, go over to the triggers tab. And you've got to enable these again. Just hit enabled and it will tell you hold left trigger. There we go. Hold right trigger. There we go. So if you ever get confused like how they overlap right there, just kind of separate them. And uh, then hold the buttons so you know which ones are which. And uh, it makes it pretty simple. 
I like to just lay them out like this, similar. So when you come to map, when you actually have to map the buttons, it makes things a lot easier. But there we go. We got all buttons, all triggers, all sticks, everything. We're good to go. Go over to the finish tab, click that, and then hit close. And you will come to a white screen like this. Normally, you guys, your squares would be white, similar to the up and the down on the D-pad. Um, I've already got mine programmed to the keys that they correspond with. Uh, to the buttons on my controller um, because I use this controller but normally they would be you know just blank like up and down on the d-pad like you see me pushing green right there um, but what you got to do is go to the buttons that like on this mapper okay we'll use Y which is the switch weapons in this point you see it turning green I'm just gonna kinda push it for a minute um, I'm pushing it on the Xbox controller you see it turning green uh, to, and that you, we all know that the Y button is to change weapons, okay? On the keyboard itself, on your computer, the number one is how to change weapons. So to map that button with the key on the computer, you just click the square that it, you, know, you need to map, and then click the button on the keyboard that goes towards that square. I'm pretty sure it's, you guys follow me. Um, and you just basically go through it like A is to jump. Okay, you see it turning green. I'm pushing A on my controller. Hit that square, and space is to jump on PC. So just go to the space button, click that, and now the A button is programmed to the space bar. Pretty simple. I think you guys can get it. I'll point out something that, that uh, kind of confuses a lot of people uh, with X because X is to reload and to repair windows at the same time. Uh, what you want to do, um, to because to repair windows is F, and to reload is R. To make it to where both those buttons are actually for that um, X button, go down here to the Advanced tab, click Advanced, and you'll see, you know, you just type in whatever buttons you want to push in, R, F, and then uh, close that out and close that window out. And you can see there, R and the F is in that button. Another thing, and down here, this is your right thumbstick, you know. You can see it moving because it's turning green, and you see those arrows. Click, you know, the right thumbstick, assuming you're playing, like, with default settings, is to look up, down, left, right, stuff like that. Over here is the picture of the mouse, okay? With this being the right um, button on the mouse, and that being the left button on the mouse, and then this is... Re uh, like if your hand was on it, this would be you moving your hand around. So to look up, you you know, up button. And these arrows basically just, you know, program that. This is the mouse right here. It's kind of confusing, but, you know, it's just trial and error. Uh, program them. If you don't get them right, you can always just come back and do it again. Um, but, yeah, guys, once you do that and you get all your buttons corresponding with the buttons they need to, uh, according to the keyboard, hit the little controller here, go to Save As, and uh, save that sucker to wherever I've already saved, so i got to overwrite. But then after that, just basically minimize it out, and you're good to go. You can go into World of War, go into whatever game you're wanting to use a controller on, and you should be, uh, you know, grizzing it up, slaying some zombies or whatever, man. I hope this guide helped you. I've been asked tons of times. I am no computer expert by any means, so... You know, if you got any questions, please ask. I think I can answer them, um, but if I can't, I surely will find somebody that can do that for you guys. Uh, so I hope this guy's helped, or I hope this guide helped, and uh, thank you guys for watching. Later.